Here's some names, and we need to count the names that start with A, B, or C. Well, we can use the left function on all of these. That takes some characters from the left. The default is 1, so when I control enter, there's the first letter, F2. Then I'm going to use a logical test and ask the question, are you equal to, in array syntax, curly bracket open and closes the array syntax. We're looking for text, so we have to put the letter in double quotes, comma. There's a B, comma. There's a C, and curly bracket. Now, very importantly, I created this array syntax with commas. Now, in array syntax, if you use a comma, that means it's going over a column. It's as if we have the letters A, B, C across the columns. If I use semicolons, then the letters would go down the rows. Now, why is that important? Because here's an array. It's a vertical array filled with rows. If I have this as three rows, when we do this equal sign, we get an error because if they're the same orientation across the rows, they have to have the same number of rows. The reason we use columns, because now when we do this, it'll be three by however many rows we have here. When I control enter, there's a bunch of trues and falses. That one is right there. B, there it is right there. We have a C and an A, true and true. F2, I want to convert them to ones and zeros, and I have an equal sign here, and the order of precedence says I'm going to calculate that last. So if I did double negative here to convert trues and falses to ones and zeros, well, it would work on left, but not on the whole thing. So open parentheses, close parentheses, that forces equal before double negative, control enter, and just like that, we have ones and zeros, F2, now sum. Open parentheses, close parentheses, control enter. And that is some fun with counting the first letter in each name based on a list. Well, hey, here's a second formula, and I bet you we can do even better. Hey, let's not hard code these in. There's the list right there, control enter, and bam, that works also. If I change this to S, no problem. That formula right there is updating based on whatever I put in the cells. All right, that's some fun with counting the first letter in names. How many of them match a list? All right, we'll see you next Excel magic trick.